What's up guys, we're gonna have some fun in today's video. This one's gonna be all about selling Halloween themed print on demand products. We're gonna start with niche research, how to find good sub niches. I'm gonna show you how to find top notch designs like the one you see behind me. By the way, the uh, people who make this and sell this design are running a flash sale today. I'll of course mention that. Uh, I'm gonna show you just lots of ways of attacking the Halloween parent niche. I'm going to show you cross niching. I'm going to show you scalable designs. I'm going to talk what to do if you're in a low Amazon merch tier versus a high tier. And at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you a, well, I'm going to show you an actual design that sold 20 in a single sale. And it's probably the simplest design I've ever made. It was more or less about uh, the color of the shirt that I selected and the keywords that I targeted. So all of that's coming in this video. Like I said, it's going to be a fun one. Let's get started. Quick reminder, take advantage of the free weekly print on demand giveaway. Two winners are going to be randomly selected and announced on Sunday. They're going to receive a license to Merch Titans Upload Automation, Merch Ninja Print on Demand Research Tools, All Sunsets Premium Graphics, and Bubble Scout, the only Redbubble niche research and validation tool. You'll find a link at the top of the description to enter the giveaway. It takes like 10 seconds. All right, so happy Halloween. Yes, we're a month in advance, but now is the time. I mean, honestly, now might be even a little late, but there's still plenty of opportunity out there to sell Halloween shirts. Now, I don't think we're going to be as lucky as we were last year. If you guys remember last year, uh, Netflix had this movie that dropped around, I think right now, it was like a Halloween themed Adam Sandler movie. And the like part of the movie was that they wore all these, I think it was his mom, wore all these different funny t-shirts. And yes, Merch by Amazon Sellers made a killing selling similar t-shirts to the ones that Adam Sandler's mom was wearing. Uh, I don't expect we're going to have anything like that this year. I mean, I could be wrong, but we may have to work a little bit harder for our sales this year. So my process usually starts with finding a niche. And when I think about it, isn't our niche Halloween? So what we're really trying to do is find a sub niche within the Halloween parent niche. So I typically go to my search merch tool. Uh, you can find a link in the description. I'll link to everything that I show you in this video in the description. My search merch tool, when you use it, filters out non merch by Amazon products. So it is very useful for our research purposes. However, look at this. This is what came up the first two rows of shirts. You notice anything about uh, six of the eight shirts listed here? They are protected because they're sold by Disney. So if you have access to a premium research tool like Flying Research, as I do, uh, I can go over here to Flying Research, click Best Sellers, and just type in whatever keywords like Halloween. Okay, and so that's what I'm gonna do since I have Flying Research. If you don't though, use the free uh, search merch tool. Okay, uh, but Flying Research is my research tool of choice right now, and there's just so many Halloween shirts. By the way, I mean for the most part, I think all of them should be safe. The ones that it's showing to me, uh, I know it's good about filtering out the big brands for the most part. Uh, so lots of examples of t-shirts, by the way, as you scroll, um, while some of them may not be necessarily protected by trademark, like I can speak from personal experience. I know every single year when I'm doing uh, the removed shirts for these YouTube videos that I do every Sunday, the M&M shirts show up pretty much year round, but especially around October. So don't sell any M&M shirts, just a quick reminder. Um, yeah, lots and lots of ways we can attack the Halloween niche. Now I could actually just kind of show you hundreds of designs, but that video would get a little bit boring. So what I'm really trying to illustrate is that there's plenty of ideas out there. Now, how do we approach selling Halloween shirts? Well, we need to be strategic based on what tier we're in as far as the Merch by Amazon sellers. And you guys know I love Merch by Amazon. To me, it's the highest profit potential for print on demand sellers. So low tiers. My recommendation is come to the search merch tool. So pretend that whether you used the search merch tool to start and you started with Halloween and then maybe Halloween led you to Halloween pumpkin and then Halloween pumpkin led you to Pumpkasaurus. Or maybe you went to the uh, the flying research tool and it put Pumpkasaurus on your radar straight away. There's lots of ways to end up at these sub niches, but let me just show you. So if you're in the low tiers, you need to be a little bit more direct and um, set an intent to validate your niches. Make sure that they're worth your upload slots, especially if you're in like tier 10 and you get one slot a day. So I typed in Pumpkasaurus. Let's try to validate this niche. All right, well, I'm seeing some okay BSRs. Like the one behind me is the best one, 48,000 BSR. That's that, that makes it attractive, but that's just one shirt. Um, in addition to that, we got like 800,000 BSR, 500,000 BSR, and then you have a rank not found. Now, rank not found indicates that it hasn't sold yet. And I didn't want to screenshot all of page one, but to make a long story short, not that many shirts on page one had good BSRs, like had BSRs under half a million. 
okay now if you don't have page one occupied with shirts that are making some consistent sales recently i don't think that's a good shirt or a good niche for a low tier seller to be selling because the pie is so small and what you're really get, aiming to get in a low tier is um quick sales right you can defer profitability and just try to get your account tiered up um in addition to that there were entire rows of products that had rank not found so a lot of products in this niche that had not made a sale so that's not a good indicator for low tiers with low tiers guys it's better to be in a crowded niche that's validated by very low bsrs indicating very high demand okay because you may not rank at the top of page one but you may still make sales because of how high the demand is and there's plenty of examples of that now a quick story um one year i uploaded the same design and it was a halloween design to my account which was probably in tier 1000 at the time and to my mom's account which was in tier 10. now for no reason i mean your guess is as good as mine uh well i guess you can do this you can try this yourself by the way um one of the shirts is going to outrank the other and the one that ranks better is probably going to sell more than the one that ranks worse now i don't know why one ranked better than the other initially but the one that i uploaded to my mom's account same design i don't know if we did the keywords the exact same but i'm sure they were r relatively similar she did almost 100 sales made 500 dollars profit because this was when um the royalties were a little bit higher my account made i think 20 or 30 sales so she crushed me in sales and i don't have a rhyme or reason for it but guys sometimes it happens this is why i also think if you're in the low tiers and you find something that's working whether it's a halloween sub niche or something completely different double down triple down on it you don't need to be in some fringe niche that may or may not make sales when you found this other niche that's selling extremely well okay double down triple down on it uh higher tiers this is my approach i like to just kind of scroll through flying research look at the shirts and write down text okay now this is just my personal approach please offer up your own feedback and opinions and your approach if you'd like to in the comments below i love hearing from you guys um me being in tier 200,000 right now i like to if i'm going to slow down and do manual designs i like to try to make you know 10 designs from one good graphic you know and get 10 upload slots filled so i might and this is please don't read this list of text and think that like these are all the best niches or something i was just quickly scrolling through flying research and writing down the text that i saw in various t-shirts because i might go in like well okay now i'm going to show you literally how i do it right so i've got some text some ideas in the halloween parent niche now vexels is the service that is having a flash sale right now just for 24 hours is what they told me they've got some really good designs on there specifically halloween designs okay so go to vexel well you can use the link in the description to get to the flash sale um if you end up signing up you can do what i'm doing right now i typed in halloween i know a very high level generic keyword you could also type in like halloween pumpkin if you wanted just pumpkins halloween t-rex things like that um they've got graphic design elements they've got pre-made t-shirts they've got a whole bunch that you can use um but here this is just to show you a couple um now this second screenshot of some of the graphics they've got i really like the cute halloween characters that they have up there that's actually what inspired the thumbnail for this video except in the thumbnail i put my head over a couple of them <laughs> Um, so I went ahead, I grabbed the cute Halloween characters and I'm just going to grab you and use some of these in t-shirt designs. So then I might go to my merch by Amazon template, pull one of the Halloween characters in, add some text trick or treat. I know it's very high level, very generic. Would I actually post this to Amazon? Maybe. I mean, I have the upload slots to do it. I'm in a high tier, uh, but the thing is I don't have to worry too much about it. I don't have to slow down. Like if you have unused upload slots, you're leaving money on the table. So try to get those filled. <laughs> okay. It's a good problem to have. Um, I can use another one of the graphics, coolest pumpkin in the patch, right? Just simple text, right? Just, just text that's easy to read, bold, big enough to read from the thumbnails and search results, right? I didn't do anything crazy here, but it, this maybe took me two minutes max to make these two designs, download them, upload them to Merch by Amazon, easy, right? Now, let me show you a couple different ideas for shirts that I um, felt inspiration. I felt inspired to share as I was doing my research for this video. So there's some his and hers shirts that you can also sell and I'll, i think they're also could be used for like parents taking their kids trick-or-treating that dawned on me a couple minutes after i made this slide so this shirt says i'm with the avocado and it's got a piece of toast and this is just one shirt that's got a piece of bread on it boom pair that with another shirt that's green that's got an avocado seed in it boom so you got the avocado uh the blank piece of toast that says i'm with the avocado and then you've got the avocado uh shirt so a perfect couple shirt or parents with the kid being avocado, whatever. And here's an idea of a couple shirt. This one has a ghost. It says, he's my boo with an arrow. 
and pair that with the other shirt that says she's my boo it's got the ghost and it's got the arrow pointing the other way so perfect for halloween photos it's a fun little cute cheap um halloween costume idea by the way both these shirts are priced at 1307 and have very few ratings making me think this might have been posted this year in 2021 and they're trying to build up sales velocity sales momentum right now in september as we head into october so that they really crush it then and probably increase their prices gradually uh, Halloween cross niche ideas. There's so many. This is just a few that I saw that I liked. This one says my gaming skills are scary. So it's, you know, obviously gaming sells year round and gaming plus Halloween gaming plus pick anything sells well. And they've got a pumpkin on the controller. So well executed. This one says trick or teach for teachers. This one says in October we wear pink because we know is breast cancer awareness month. This one says momster and it's got that really popular graphic of uh, that's used in like mom shirts. What was the ones like something about messy buns and mom life i don't know i can't remember all the niches but uh that graphic is really popular and they just made it made it into like a a skull uh this one says the man behind the pumpkin and it's cross niching um halloween and getting pregnant i also mentioned i was going to show you some designs that have scalable potential whether you want to do it manually or use automation tools so let me show you a couple this shirt says pretend i'm a dalmatian and obviously you can swap out dalmatian with Anything else that you might have a costume of, pretend I'm a walrus, pretend I'm a whatever. Uh, This one says, I'm with the butterfly. And you can swap out butterfly with a bunch of other things that people may um, be wearing a costume of if it's with their significant other or their parent with their kid and their kids dressed up as a princess. I'm with the princess, right? Um, Now, if you need ideas for what people are searching, you don't need to guess. Go to Google, type in pretend I'm a... And then look, it auto completes it for you. Pretend I'm a rocket man, space cowboy, a slug, Dalmatian, fire hydrant, pirate, tree. You can also go to Amazon and use the AMZ suggestion uh, expander, AMZ suggestion expander, free Chrome extension. Pretend I'm a type that into the search bar. What does it say? Dalmatian, pirate, pineapple, crocodile, tree, Dalmatian, wolf shirt, fire hydrant, uh, pig, green bean. So guys, it's giving us the data we don't have to guess okay um i can link to this uh chrome extension in the description for you as well it is free uh and then also if you're wondering how i do the automation so that i don't have to sit here and do it manually i use a chrome extension called automate pod i'll link to that in the description for you that does the design so you just upload a list of the words and again we just saw where to get the words you upload the list of words in a csv file so it takes like 10 seconds to make and then run the app and then go walk away let your computer work or you can keep using your computer uh, just use a different web browser and it will swap in and out the words and download them for you then i pull them into merch titans uh, automation which i'm actually running right now while i record this video and it's uploading them to merch by amazon and all the other platforms that i sell on for me i don't have to do it myself um now i told you i would wrap the video up with a quick story about my easiest sale ever. And it was actually 20 sales in one sale. So a quantity of 20 shirts purchased by one person in one sale. This shirt is going to blow you away by how easy it is. And this isn't actually my shirt. This shirt is better than the one I made. So it was a Halloween design. I did black text on an orange shirt. I just wrote a number. That's all I did. And I made it really small. I don't know why I made it so small. So this shirt you're seeing right here is actually better than the one that I made 20 sales of to a single customer. And all I did was I called it an inmate costume or like a prisoner inmate costume for Halloween 2019 or whatever year it was. And like I said, this shirt's even better than the one I made. So I'm sure you're capable of making something like this. If you're in low Amazon merch tiers, you don't want to waste upload slots on something like this. But if you've got the upload slots to spare, there's no no problem with going for it. This is so simple, so easy. Now, I don't know if you're going to get 20 sales, but it actually happened for me. I'm speaking to firsthand experience here. And if it could happen for me with a really bad design, then I'm sure you can do better than I did. All right, guys, before I wrap the video up, please take advantage of my eight-day print-on-demand mini course. I've also got a print-on-demand Facebook community. You can find links to both in the description. And of course, I have a full print-on-demand course showing you how I make six-figure print-on-demand sales every single year. It is start to finish how to start, scale, and automate your business. You can find more information in the description. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.